guys, I'm Eddie Joe. I wanted to go on a quick rant tonight. Uh, when I say tonight, it's because it's July 4th, 2018, but it's not the July 4th where the fireworks are going off in the back, but rather it's July 4th as in it just turned into July 4th, so there's no fireworks going on in the background. Uh, the reason for today's rant is, and the rant is going to be with regards to being in the medical field, i.e. being even a nurse for that matter. Um, but being a medical student, a resident, a fellow, or a junior attending, or attending, sorry, I just washed my hands, I have a, what's it called, I had a paper towel on my hand, I'll clean, I'll clean that up, trust me, I keep this place clean, but uh, I wanted to go on a rant about being a medical student, resident, fellow, etc., and the question that we receive so often, whether you're male or female, but even even more burdensome is it is to females, and it's the whole when are you gonna have a family and when are you gonna get married question, and uh, what made me come up with this topic to talk about today, and what made me make an impromptu video like I'm making right now is the fact that I get asked this question a lot. And uh, I'm 36 years old right now, so I'm not necessarily a spring chicken, but I'm in pretty good shape for being 36 years old. i uh, taking good care of myself throughout the years. But part of the reason why uh, I think that it's irresponsible for people in society to ask, you know, those of us who are in the medical field, when we're going to have kids and when we're going to get married is because those people can't necessarily walk in our shoes. Uh, I know there's a society stigma that you know in their 20s you got to get married but when you're a medical student you don't necessarily have time to date uh, you definitely don't have time to go on vacations and party with your friends you're gonna end up missing a lot of weddings uh, the birthdays of your friends the birthdays of your friends kids those types of things and um, it just becomes it becomes very difficult uh, to develop those types of relationships which eventually become marriage type of relationships. It's hard for other people to understand what you're going to, going through, excuse me. Uh, in addition to that, you add this whole factor of, of starting a family and having kids where you now have to worry about, you know, taking care of a little one. And that takes me to a completely different tangent and hopefully I'll remember, but maybe I'll just start off right now by saying it because after all, I mean, this is a rant. But let's say hypothetically you're 18 years old you're gonna go to engineering school right uh, just just as an example engineering school is usually about five years and when you get out of engineering school school excuse me from my understanding you make a range of like you know between 50 to 100 grand let's say and this is US dollars because I'm in the United States um, happy 4th of July so once you're 24 years old you've already graduated you've you're making a good paycheck, those types of things, uh, life life starts to settle down and then you can, you know, work towards having a family, getting married, all those uh, traditional things that we are supposed to do, what society thinks that we are supposed to do. However, when you go into medicine, I mean, you pay for your undergraduate, and a lot of us are fortunate and get scholarships and whatnot, but medical school is not a scholarship-based type of career. Um, and it's expensive. I mean, you're going to be in the hole several hundred thousand dollars. And uh, where are you going to get that money to date, party, uh, go out to fancy dinners and all that? Unless you have like a wealthy family. I know I didn't have a wealthy family to allow me to do those types of things. I'm very grateful for my family's help, but they were by no means wealthy. Um, then you add this uh, factor of having kids when you're a medical student or even a resident. Uh, when you're a medical student, how are you honestly going to pay for everything that entails having a child? It's It seems very difficult to me um, to be able to do those things. It's definitely not impossible. I'm not trying to uh, say it's impossible, but it seems very, very challenging to me. Then you, then you add the fact that, okay, fine, let's go back to the whole talking about the age thing. Uh, you finish medical, you finish uh, high school when you're 18 years old, you go to four year college, you finish when you're 22, you start medical school at 22, 22 through, 22 through 26. Um, you are in medical school, then you go to a residency. And so you start a residency when you're 27, 28 years old, let's say. At that time, the majority of your friends who you've grown up with have, and I don't mean this to be, uh, 
ugly or anything like that, but the majority of your friends that you grew up with have gone their own way. They have their own independent families, their own independent lives, their own independent career paths, and they don't necessarily see eye to eye with you. And then you add on to the fact that you're gonna be working 80 hours a week for three to five years being a medicine resident, making 50 grand a year, which is not a, it's a, it's a salary. It's better than not making any money whatsoever during residency, but at that point in time, the person who was an engineer making, say, 80 grand a year has been working for, let's say, five years. Uh, those people have amassed almost $300,000 versus you in your first year of residency, you are net negative $200,000 or $300,000, let's say. And so going back to the whole society stipulation as to what you need to be accomplishing, uh, you don't have time for family and like you know you have time for your family but you don't have time to start a family and you shouldn't be judged by society because you haven't gotten married and you shouldn't be judged by society because you haven't had kids excuse me because those people have not walked in your shoes they can't do what you've done and they can't do for those of you who are in medical school or planning on going into medical school those those people don't have the ambition to uh, to achieve what you're about to achieve, which is to become a physician or say even 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 an RN who wants to go on do ARNP or CRNA school. You know, those are those are things that are extremely difficult and extremely challenging. So, basically, to wrap this whole conversation up, because I've been ranting for about seven minutes now, looking at my iPhone, which is I'm actually recording on the front camera. I hope the the lighting is okay let me just fix my hair part it to the side there we go um so it goes back to me being asked earlier today on two different occasions uh when am i gonna have kids well i'm 36 years old right now and i'm i feel very young and uh, a lot of people look at me and they're like oh eddie you're a very young physician well uh i'm i feel very young but i'm kind of beat up but <laughs> Uh, I don't have any kids. I actually got married last year. I've been married for a year now and It's very difficult to find someone in your life's journey who would understand uh, What it entails to become a physician and I'm actually married to a nurse a critical care nurse and she's she's amazing because she she understands this whole this whole um, journey and everything that I'm trying to accomplish I find it extremely difficult for female physicians because a lot of them are badass alpha females and men are weaker than what we portray and when I say that I mean because a lot of dudes don't want to date and this is probably gonna give me some dislikes but a lot of dudes don't want to date female doctors because uh, their egos are gonna take a hit because they haven't accomplish what they've accomplished and you know the guys want to be the big macho man and when they have a female who's a badass nurse a nurse anesthetist nurse practitioner a badass physician a specialized a subspecialized physician they become intimidated and uh, I find that funny but I find that extremely sad because as a, as a society we men should uh, worship these women who have accomplished all these things in their life because they're badasses there's no other way to put it but that's neither here nor there uh, but I do see a lot of people who have no business uh, who have no business interjecting in our lives try to tell us how to lead our lives and what timetable to lead our lives in and that's just that's just wrong because that's none of their business they don't know what our aspirations are they don't know uh, if the stress has caused some sort of health issue within oneself and uh, we we need to be selfish at the same time I hate I hate saying this but we need to be selfish with our time uh, for those of us who've gone through all this training because we endure so many years of training and so many years of giving ourselves up and giving our personal time up to try to help society try to help people try to uh, accomplish our goals that all of a sudden we're looked down upon because we haven't fit society's norms that's just unacceptable I don't know how to handle it uh, I try to just smile and nod to those people who ask me these questions that I think they have no business asking me 
But if you have any any type of suggestions as to how you would handle this, uh, I would I would like to hear your feedback. So leave me some comments down below. I think I talked on everything I wanted to talk about, and that should conclude this video because I'm looking at the screen and I've been ranting for ten minutes. That's a long rant. I hope you got something out of this video. I know it's a little bit different than everything I've been putting out as of late, but. I just wanted to rant and I know I have a viewer who says that he just wanted to hear me rant so I'm pretty good at ranting so here's my rant all right guys take care oh, oh and by the way please don't let this disencourage you from going into medicine I'm very happy with my job I'm happy with all the steps that I've gone through to get here and I wouldn't change it for the world honestly I love my job all right bye